Hello and welcome or welcome back to bim 2 This video will introduce you to the bim 2 wall functions using the Perry Formwork System Maximal. Let's go! To show you how bim 2 makes your daily work easier, we have prepared a small test project whose 3D model you see here. We will start working in a 2D view and then have a look at our results in 3D later. When you first start Revit after bim 2 has been installed, you will notice three new tabs at the top of your menu bar. BIM to form wall, BIM to form slab, and BIM to form manage. The other two modules will be explained in another video, so be sure to check that out, we will link it down below. To briefly explain how BIM to form works, it's just as you are used to it from Revit. The commands are to be used from left to right, and the level of automatization decreases from left to right. Right here at the beginning, you have a button with links to a bunch of information. This can be found in all three module tabs. Before we start, we should make our selections in the first group, settings. The first step when you want to place any type of formwork is choosing the formwork system. Every system that is available to you will be listed here. We will use Maximo MX15 today. Next is our storage manager that lists all existing element sizes. You can either select or deselect complete heights or only certain element sizes. The list can be sorted either by height or width or you can search for certain measurements. Then we have a button for settings concerning the forming process, for example using large size panels, accessories that should be placed or the formwork jet out. When everything is set, click OK and let's start forming in the smaller room. Start with clicking the first command part wall types, then click two walls to place formwork on this corner. bim to form will give you some options for height constellations to choose from and after clicking OK, it will place the corners including accessories like for example towers. With the endless loop, you can continue like this without having to select the command repeatedly until all the part wall types are done. To leave the command, use the escape key. In our 3D view, it looks like this now. And this is a realistic view. Now go back to the 2D view and carry on with the following command forming. Select it and fill up the walls between the corners by clicking the wall and then two elements. This could be an element or a timber filler. Again, choose your desired height constellation. Keep going until you have placed formwork on all the remaining walls. For stop ends, click one element twice. You can now switch to the 3D view again and view your realistic result. For the large room on the right, we can repeat the same process again. Everything that is shown here in 2D can also be done in the 3D view. Freestanding walls like this one in the back can be formed fully automatically by simply selecting the command here and clicking the wall. Besides its automatic commands, bim to form also offers you the opportunity to place formwork components manually. Elements can be placed vertically, horizontally, laterally and horizontal laterally and either one-sided or double-sided. Tire rods are set by choosing opposing elements, assembly locks and timber fillers by clicking elements next to each other. After your formwork is all done, you can view the pattern it will leave on the concrete when you are in a 3D view, for example if you have architectural concrete. These content folders can be found in all the bim to form tabs where you can find single families by going through the respective folder and loading them into the project per drag and drop. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed testing it out yourself. For more information, visit our website 
and contact us to get a 14 days free trial of Bim to Form.